Right, I'm going to go crush this draconian ore, and then we'll have 12, so we can beat the quest. Fix that until I re log. Fair enough. Ah, hello. Hello. I'm just gonna chuck some stuff in the computer. Oh, I have a lot of stuff in my venture in my right. backpack. Trying to coordinate. Date. Resident end ore. Chorus flower. Draconian ore. Get some glowstone. Some demon ore ingots. And we have plenty of books now for when we next need books. Moon stones. There we go. I think we've done pretty well today. Yeah, we did, did quite well out of that trip. Um, right, so that needs some rosin. There's only one quest left in. Uh, Exploration 3, and that is locked. It's to go to the deep dark, but it's locked behind. Don't think of its ingredients. Yeah. Who would like to guess where? Don't think of its ingredients is. I don't think we want to know, so we don't want to think about it. Uh, right. Resin makes tree oil, which is applied to clathrate to get coated clathrate which is what we need <coughs> um, so I never made that transposer it's really annoying that you can't just like search for a quest <laughs> to yeah. find out where it is you, yeah you just want to find the quest that precedes that, but no. <coughs> uh, compactor. There we go. We have some rosin. Um, right, let's put that there instead. Then I can't find another. a list of requests online. bit of a pain. So who knows where the quest locking the deep dark is? Uh, I'll have a look for it in a second. See if we can figure it out. It is now enabled. That is power. Uh, where have you gone? Where are you? Me. Are you upstairs? I'm hiding from you. But I've got a present for you. Oh, what is it? We've gone outside. Ooh, we can make an Ethereum arrowhead. Have you? Where have you gone? I'm upstairs with the thermal expansion machines. 
Oh, I've just up there and you weren't there. My map is really I, broken as well. You don't have an I, icon, just a name. I was hiding behind these. Ooh, buckets of treat oil. Thank you. I will add those into that. Right, let's go see if the mob grinder has made any wither drops yet. Nope. Useless. Might have to rebuild it in the wither, in the in the nether, in the mm -hmm. nether wither. Nether wither. Are you extracting oil from a willow tree? I am. Hey, I've only got two mob grinds here. Um, right. So. <clears throat> uh, would it preserve its contents? Hopefully, but probably not. It's a gem, it's a pebble. Is it a gem? Is it a pebble? Who knows? Alright, so that's now coming in there. And there. Or gunpowder. Stick that there. Okay, I'm going to quickly yeah. try and make yeah. these spells that we uh, hadn't done. Wild Root Compass, Golden Carrot, and an Amethyst Orb. Wild Root. Compass. Yeah, I'm trying Golden to Carrot. Really awesome. I think it was... The one you've been using, the more grindy and more which one it is. That's what it was before that we Yeah. Right. Well I've got the parts for the first spell. Good. So I will go and try and remember how to make a spell. In the mortar uh -huh. and pestle. I put it all in the mortar and pestle. Yes. Some back courts. Oh, there we go. That was that was it. We only needed to do one. Ah, I thought you had to do multiple or all of them. So, which spell did you do? Extension. I just did the first one. Yeah, extension. Uh, provides night vision, and can be modified to highlight nibble hostile mobs, passive mobs, spawners, chests, and alls. Or or alls. So that could be quite useful. It could be. Are you adding it to your spell list? Or should um, I add to mine? I might, I'm just reading through what the other ones are. So the acid cloud spell summons a poisonous cloud that constantly damages and knocks back enemies. It can also be modified to provide significant regeneration. The life drain spell has no cooldown, dealing small amounts of damage and knock back to nearby mobs, healing you as they take damage. Mm hmm. The Shatter spell instantly breaks between 1 and 27 blocks depending on modifiers and has the ability to apply Silk Touch, Fortune 2 and or Smelting. The Petal Shell prevents the next three instances of damage from dealing damage. Of those, I think Extension, Acid Cloud and Life Drain sound the, uh, the most useful. Yeah. I might apply Extension then. How do I... Once again, I am asking how to apply a spell. Um, you put it in a bowl and you stick the pestle on top of it. No, that was how to make the spell. Now I now I have the spell. I need to know how to apply it to my to my staff. Um, maybe you put it in the is it the infuser or something like that? The spell in there, and then you put the um, tablet on top of it. 
The one that's got a floating tablet in it. Yeah, the imbuer. Yes. Take the, the tablet out, put the, the spell in. The imposer. Let's you edit stuff. Yeah, the imposer lets me put it on the staff. And add modifiers and stuff. Yes. Okay, well that's uh, that's another quest line finished. We've finished routes now. Nice. So how many have we completed? One, two, three. Five. Four, five. Ooh. We're getting there on mechanism. Exploration 2 is only the one quest left, but it's suggested to wait until we had a mob grinder. Or wait until we've got the powered spawner, even. Mm -hmm. Exploration 3, we've only got one left, but it's un it's locked. Um, it's, uh, gadgets we and Utility, there's only one left, but it needs a lot of necrotic bones. So there's another three that we're almost done on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could go and do the additional presses. It just means finding another meteor. Uh, this is in the mechanism quest chain. Yeah. Flash applied to logistics. Um, yeah, the higher storage cells is just going to be painful. We probably could do those. It's just a lot of repetitive crafting, so it might be better until we have auto crafting to do those. Yeah. I can't remember how we, how I changed the spells on my staff. I'm sure it's in the Imposer. Uh, you, no, it's, uh, you have a keybind for it, oh. somewhere. Okay, roots. No, that's only shown me roots keybind. Delete spell. Shift O. Uh, that's what you said it to. For some reason. So I can add Perescure to be given a sign that points towards my spawn. Uh, wild wheat highlights nearby animals. Moonglow leaf reduces the radius at which enemies can detect me. Baffle cap. Highlights nearby growing plants. Terramos highlights nearby on hostile creatures. Spirit herb senses details about time. Ooh. Infernal bulb highlights nearby spawners. Cloudberry highlights nearby containers. Trigonia highlights nearby liquids. And Stanocrypt highlights either all nearby ores or the ore held in your offhand. Estimation price. Might add Stalacrite, Infernal Bowl, and Terramos. Right, so that's going to make all of those. There we go. I may, maybe I was mad, but is there a. Oh, there's the terminal. Over at the computer. Yeah. But yeah, there is a terminal over there. Yeah. You can't add not to. I've run out of a, sp of a spell ingredient. Ooh. Which ingredient? I don't know. <laughs> Because I've run out of it. I do also desperately need some new, some more of some ingredients, but yeah. Uh, let's get another stack and a half of quartz dust. And three stacks of glass. That. 
That's making. I don't have. Oh, it's wild roots, apparently. Wild roots? Yeah, wild roots I'm out of. Oh. We can finally get crafting terminals. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's it's so really. annoying not having those. I know. I'm kind of glad that's the first extra thing we can make. Uh, do we get wild root? Do we we grow wild root, don't we? Got red alloy. So I need to make formulaic assemblers. Well, that's a lot of ore. Why are you just looking at the ore underneath us? Yeah. So if I hold an ore that we want, say osmium. Except we don't need us being desperate anymore. We've got a thousand of this stuff. In my offhand, and then cast the spell, it should only highlight Osmium Ore, of which there's apparently quite That's a lot. Useful. Or, alternatively, there's an awful lot of containers and spawners. One or the other. 